Hello, everybody, and welcome. Hello, welcome back to Dust. This is episode three. Uh, we'll wrap this in like five seconds back. Um, yeah, we're done. Done dead guy. Last time we moved up, we found the receiver. We found the transmitter. We found the transmitter, and we found the dead guy. Hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. Your transaction is most appreciated. Watch your back, my friend. I am here to serve. Sushi. Your transaction is most appreciated. Watch your back, my friend. Time to wait for it to die out. There's got to be another way around. It's on fire and raining. Bombarding us with those green flames, they almost seem to have a mind of their own. 
then. A sudden gust of wind blasted through the village and the flames disappeared. It stopped the creature's attacks, but for a moment. But for a moment. Enough to escape if only we could harness the power of the storm. That did it! I can hear the water rushing below. You're not very subtle. What it wasn't half bad? I didn't think it was that bad.
Digit 3538, 4181. Oh, basically, I just to serve. Your transaction is most appreciated. Watch your back, my friend. I trust him. I trust him. Even though he's super shifty. I recall. Also, did you think it's right there? I think old too convenient. I'm 20, 60. One health. Let it cure. We've made it this far, Fidget. Stay close to me and you'll be fine. What do you see, Yara? Anything? Another enemy stands before you. But this one... What is it, Aura? Such... hatred. Be careful, Dust. <laughs> So, you've come. What have you done? You murdered all these innocent people! You dare speak to me of innocence when you have so casually slain a countless number of my children. Your children? You're talking about those monsters back there? Who are you? So... You don't remember my name. Rest assured, my friend. This time, you will not so easily forget it. This? I don't care what your name is. You're no different than those monsters I fought before. And like them, you will fall to my blade. You! are the only monster here, puppet! As I turn your bones to char, your final thought will be that Fuse was victorious! Now die!
reach the darkness within you. I have come to my end. What are you? Among the last of a dying breed, a once proud race extinguished by your hands. My hands? <clears throat> you and your warm-blooded kin, we moonbots were outcasts, scattered to the wind. You and others like you, they came to my village, killed my family. I, I didn't... I can't remember. <sighs> There is sadness in your eyes, but it is not guilt, it is loss. After all you've done to my kind, you still think only of yourself. Perhaps that is for the best. Your leader, Gaius, he led you and your fellow assassins into battle. Assassins? He even murdered his own kind, our greatest allies amongst the warm bloods. But one escaped. She was the only one I would dare spare in the slaughter that was to come. She? Who are you talking about? Who did I kill? <sighs> Who knows? Who sees? My vision has left me. I return now to the life thread and to my brethren. No, no, wait! Farewell, warm blood. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. We did it! He knew who I was, Fidget. He'd seen me before. If only he'd lived a moment longer. If only I'd managed to keep him alive somehow. As you can see by the dead littering this village, that would not have been a good idea. I'm sure you're right. We should return to Aurora and report to Mayor Bram. There was also that name, Dias. During the battle, I was studying Fuse's attacks. I think I might have picked up on his technique. Yeah. I've got a feeling we'll need it. Those monsters likely won't let us leave without a fight. I thought it was to level her up, but it's actually just... Just a thing that she wants. <laughs> When you upgrade her and she does it. Hmm, more monsters. What's the problem? Well, you did say they were his children. Children or not, they don't look all that happy to see us. Hey, ugly! Are you gonna play nice? There's just no pleasing in some people. It was a valiant effort, Fidget. Chicken on a girl at the Dehana? 
at the edge of the Adam's forest. The hill lies in the ruins, but you discover no uh, grown name that is just lost there. Determined though to be in the world. The other one is better. Meanwhile, far to the north. Sir, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but... But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all... What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We... are investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe... Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. Our moment of glory draws near, and I want results. As you wish, General. Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? is talking about me, then A, I'm not hiding from nobody. B, you are the general that supposedly made me do bad shit. <laughs> Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh? Is... everything all right? We traveled to Denim. It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh... no. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you, from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness! She must be alive! She must have escaped! Please, let me see it! What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust, go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the screen? He just goes... <laughs> Are you okay? Please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm not really in a talkative mood. She doesn't like the fact that I killed. It's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no. That could only be Denim Village. Did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard, wore strange armor, called himself Fuse. A lizard, you say? Hmm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for Moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. 
I've never seen him or his soldiers personally, but tragedy tends to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck! Dust, we are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. Actually, maybe you could speak with him? He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Of course. Where is he now? He's been pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. I don't get it! Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse guy burned down an entire village! Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius' hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. Oh, you again. Mayor Bram said you'd left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Denim Village, Ginger, slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, Ben, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the end, he seemed lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked her village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius's soldiers. Who are you, really? I don't know. That is not an answer! Hey, ease off! Dust can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name! You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry! Fidget, please calm down. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Guy's soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that, especially if they knew I was here. Why is Gaius so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity, a kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland. And it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. So he's Hitler, basically. He's basically Hitler. Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes, 
The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius's bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. Of my kind? Whoa! What was that? It came from the center of the village! Monsters! Ginger, get down! <sighs> what is this? You've been poisoned! When you're poisoned, your life slowly drains down to nothing. If you don't take care of it soon, death is inevitable. I can probably just wait it out. Stop pretending you're so tough! Here, take this mushroom. It'll stop the poison for now. You can thank me later. I like this bag of gold. <sighs> That's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. Alright. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Roan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. That depends. Did your box have a lot of flying monsters inside it? How would I know? I've never opened the box. Never. Ever. Except... Except once. I think it's what made me this way. Maybe. Okay. Well, I doubt your box had anything to do with this, Reed. Still, I'll keep my eyes open. and learn how they made it to the village. Let me go. Lost time. We'll try.
The furthest I've ever got. <laughs> ah, Dust! Thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? I think I'll be all right. Just need some time to think, is all. Is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. <laughs> it's not obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told Oneida, but I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Hmm. And it's valuable? To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm, just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really, you don't know how much this means to me. Sure, we'll go do that. Those monsters really tore the place apart. Hey, Fidget, can you use that sixth sense of yours to find Guillen's watch? Hmm, yeah, actually. I'm getting something from down that big scary hole in the ground. Why is it always a big scary hole in the ground? I'll have to get back to you on that, Fidget. In the meantime, we should clear it out for Guillen and Oneida.
Vest plus four defense plus plus four defense plus one luck. Slime man plus twelve defense plus two luck. He provides this armor allows enemies to attack. Slimy property of this armor allows enemies to attack. Those enemies attack to slide off, reducing effectiveness. Oh, this isn't even good anymore. Plus ten defense with one luck. Plus twelve defense with two luck. <laughs> This is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me! Well, um, we did save your life, remember? Yes, well, I meant aside from that. Thank you so much, you two. I have little to offer in return, but here, take this set of treasure keys. Thank you, Guillen. I'm glad we were able to be of service. <sighs> Having this pocket watch back puts my mind at ease. Thanks, Dust. So now all we have to do is jump down the big hole in the earth, and I will do that next time. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, episode of Dust. Uh, you know, if you liked it, great. If you didn't like it, give it to yourself. Um, consider subscribing if you like what I do here, and I will see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye.
Wings. 